Thank you to LG for sponsoring this video. We live in a wireless world. We got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, even our payments are wireless. But when it comes to our TVs, uh, why do I have to trip over HDMI cables? What? There's gotta be a better way. Can't there be something that can take all the hassle and ugliness out of these beautiful TVs? Meet the LG OLED Evo M3. So before I get to everything that the M3 can do, this is my favorite thing to do in videos, to thank you for being awesome human beings and give you a chance to win $500. All you gotta do is leave a comment down below. Tell me the first thing you would watch on your brand new LG M3. Be sure there's a way for me to contact you either on your YouTube page or leave your social handle in the comment. Give the video a thumbs up, let it run for 10 days, open to anyone in the world. All information though will be in the description down below. All right, so like in typical TV videos, like right out of the gate, first words out of my mouth, I'm talking about things like picture quality. And I promise you, we will get to that. But I wanted to spend some time talking about everything that's wireless with this TV and some of the biggest questions, at least that I had when I first saw this at CES earlier in the year. And I'm assuming like you probably have similar questions as well, especially if you're in the market for one. So the first question I had was what did LG mean when they called this thing wireless? Like it's not magic. They're still wires. The TV has got to be plugged into an outlet. But all the things you'd originally plug into the back, like HDMI cables, audio inputs, we sent wirelessly to the TV with what LG is calling their Zero Connect box. And that Zero Connect box has all the ports that you'd expect. You get a coaxial port, optical port, ethernet port, even three 4K HDMI 2.1 ports, by the way, all capable of 120 hertz wirelessly up to 30 feet from the TV. There's actually a rotating disc on top of the box with an indicator light, so you can point it towards the TV and a light will let you know how good a connection it has. It also has a switch that allows you to adjust the signal direction vertically as well. And all you gotta do is make sure the Zero Connect box has a relatively good line of sight to the sensor below the TV. So hearing that, you probably think that it's gotta be sitting like on a table in front of the TV with like a perfect line of sight. Uh, it doesn't have to do that. Uh, this box can live below the TV, on the side of the TV, uh, even go into cabinets, which actually we tested. So I think it's obviously gonna work best if those cabinets are open, but we did test it in cabinets that were closed with glass doors and it did work. So you're gonna have to kind of mess around with it in your setup to find the best way for it to work for you. All right, so that's how the Zero Connect box like, works. But before we get to how well it works, or doesn't, uh, I should probably answer the most important question. Like, why? Why do we need a TV without an HDMI cable hooked up to it? And is it worth the extra premium cost? What essentially is an LG M3 with wireless HDMI. So I think there's a lot of use cases and good reasons for this. The biggest one, let's say you live in an apartment and you want that ultra clean setup and you can't drill holes in the walls. Uh, if you have an AC plug on the wall, but no pass through to hide the cables, that gives you the flexibility to not only have that clean setup, but also have that clean look anywhere you want. You have to worry about hiding multiple HDMI cables. Uh, my house, for example, I can drill into walls, but instead of having a direct shot from my TV to where my receiver is, for some reason my house was built where I had to go up and then down and ended up needing like an almost 30 foot HDMI cable to get it to run from my TV to the receiver. The LG M3 would have solved that problem. So before we get to how well this thing like actually works, get to another question I probably have right now. How big is this thing? This, my friends, is one of the largest TVs that I have ever seen. It is an insane 97 inch version. Get a sense for the size when I'm standing next to it. I should also mention they come in 77, 83 inch versions. So no matter what, uh, these are not small TVs. But like their G series friends, they are designed to be flush mounted to the wall as well. For the 83 and 77 inch models, there aren't even stand options. Uh, LG is telling you that you're going to want to wall mount these sets. And with how good my LG G2 looks at home, I think they're like probably right to do so. If you're brave enough and have a wallet big enough, and opt for the 97 inch version here, LG will sell you an extra stand. I think it looks awesome. It kind of accentuates the clean look and setup uh, of the whole set. All right, but with all of that out of the way, I think it's time to answer the biggest question of all. Like, does it work? One of the first things I did after getting it set up was testing where I could put 
that zero connect box. I wanted to see where I could trip up the signal and cause the TV transmission to fail. So I took it up to our loft. I put it next to the TV. I put it beneath the TV. I put it on a stand. I put it on the back of the room. I put it inside a console with both doors open and closed, and even once behind glass doors. Some of those gave the results that I expected. Others actually found to be relatively surprising. So here's what I found. Putting in places that have an obvious line of sight to the TV, like not surprisingly, they worked flawlessly. Even if people walking in front of the Zero Connect box it didn't cause the image to stutter or drop or really change anything. I was definitely worried about that. If you have people walk in front or you have a big party over, you don't want the TV to stop working anytime somebody gets up to go to the bathroom or something. There was no issue, even with multiple people walking back and forth. Um, this might as well have been plugged in. It looked beautiful. Same goes for setting the box beside the TV or beneath it. I was able to direct the signal towards the TV or directly up at it. Again, no problems. Even kind of up there in the loft, there are no problems either. Worked surprisingly fine. And that's far away. Uh, I thought that was going to trip it up and it worked perfectly. Where I was able to trip it up was inside entertainment console. Now, if I kept the doors open, I wasn't having any issues. So if you have an open cabinet, this will probably work perfectly for you. But when I closed it behind either a wooden door or a glass door, the TV would give me a pop-up and tell me the place is your connect box in a less concealed location. Again, like I said before, it's not really magic. It's something that I expected as I did the testing prior uh, to this video. But as long as I had a good connection signal, I did not notice any drop frames or any perceivable lag, which is a huge point that I wanted to emphasize here. I was streaming movies and shows in 4K, no issues. Dolby Vision, HDR, all looked beautiful. One of my biggest surprises was I could also play games without any perceived latency at all. If there was anything that was gonna trip this up, it was like, it had to have been gaming. So we plugged in both a PS5 and Xbox Series X, and like, this is gonna be it, we're gonna see some issues. I had no problem hitting those 16, 120 hertz frame rates with no perceived sort of latency at all. Out of everything I tested here, that was probably the most surprising. The second most surprising was like how clean the setup looks. This is how it looks at my house. I have a PlayStation 5 sitting up top. There's a bunch of wires. I have an Xbox below in that cabinet. With the M3 and the Zero Connect box, I wouldn't have to see any of those wires. And especially when you have game consoles and plugging in sort of ancillary devices, that's when you start to see the kind of get cumbersome or get the non-clean look uh, with all those wires running everywhere. And the one connect box solves that. Whether you're a casual gamer or a hardcore gamer, any sort of gamer, uh, you're probably familiar with a lot of LG's gaming features they include in their TVs. Very happy to report that is still here in the set as well. You're getting things like LG's Game Optimizer, which I've always appreciated since you can quickly monitor performance or even customize your gameplay experience without having to go deep into menus that kind of take you out of the flow of the game. But the fact that I can play a game at 4K, 120 FPS wirelessly still blows my mind here. This is actually the world's first OLED to be able to do that. So when I'm explaining this, there might be those thoughts of, oh, like it's a gimmick, John. Uh, it's a sponsor, it's not gonna work. But you see this technology, especially at places like CES, Sometimes things can seem very like fanciful and things are never actually going to come to fruition. We see a ton of kind of vaporware stuff every year at CES. But LG has been making TVs for a very long time. Beyond that, they've been making some of the best TVs in the world for a very long time. This works and it works exactly as advertised. If you have a setup where you can put the zero connect box in a location where it can speak very easily with the TV, you're going to absolutely love the decluttered setup which you get with the LG M3. So there's obviously a lot more to this TV than just the fact that it's got like a wireless thing going on. A uh, TV at this premium price, it's also, it's gotta like look good. Thankfully, this being LG, it's gonna kinda check that box too. So what you're getting here with the M3 is LG's absolutely premium display with all the benefits of MLA technology, their A9 AI processor Gen 6, and 120 hertz refresh rate. But the image on the M3 looks gorgeous. I mean, hopefully you can see that for yourself, 
Of course, you're getting those perfect blacks with it, obviously being OLED. The colors and images are bright and vibrant, particularly thanks to MLA technology, as well as what the A9 processor Gen 6 enables, getting things like Brightness Booster Max that'll push the image to those peak brightness levels, as well as AI-powered scene and audio optimization. So if you're not going to set this up with a sound bar or surround sound system, the audio built into the TV is like a pretty pleasant surprise. It's worth mentioning again, how hassle-free this whole setup is. So with that zero connect box, uh, it is super simple to set like a console next to it, beside it, wherever, plug it right in, then not have to mess with like digging behind the TV to look for that HDMI plug. This not only makes the TV itself look crazy clean, but makes the whole experience of using the TV just easier. It's like usually with TVs, I plug in a set-top box. I don't spend much time talking about the TV's OS, but with LG's WebOS 24, it got some pretty good updates. So they added really nice features like additional tiles called Dynamic Info, which show your recent activity within each category to quickly jump uh, to whatever your favorite things are, along with obviously the expected streaming apps that you need. But one thing you won't see in WebOS 24 if you don't want to uh, is ads. LG thankfully now allows you to turn that, say, feature uh, off so you don't get tons of ads clogging up your view when you're just like, turning your TV on. But like everything else you'd expect is here on the M3. You have plenty of picture modes available to do whatever you want with. You've got vivid, standard, cinema, filmmaker mode, as well as a customizable expert profile. If you wanna dive like a bit deeper into the settings and tweak any of them further, you can do that. We know LG does a really good job and kind of the right amount of hand-holding throughout the calibration process. And if you wanna do that process, it's not overly difficult. Now, clearly these are like not cheap sets. Uh, you want to make sure that it's being well taken care of. Uh, luckily, LG is coming through on that, offering a five-year panel warranty. If anything happens to the set, especially for those of us with kids and, and baseball, it's good to know that you're going to be covered there. And at the end of everything, this is an LG display. This is an LG OLED display. So no matter what they're doing with wires or wireless, you know this is going to be amongst the best displays in the world. So coming into this video and checking out the M3 and kind of a wireless setup for the first time, I have like a lot of questions and a lot of trepidation. Even before I saw things like the picture quality, I was concerned. How is it gonna work? Am I gonna have frame rates? Can people walk in front of the box? What if I don't have the best spot to set up the One Connect box? Going through and making this video and testing all different locations, it put pretty much all those fears to rest. What you were getting with the M3 First and foremost is an LG OLED TV that already is going to make it amongst the best in the world. Again, I put my own money to buy an LG OLED TV a few years ago. The picture quality is insane. You're getting no loss of latency. That is incredible from the One Connect box. You can plug in anything you want. And perhaps the most surprising, the best feature of all was how clean you can get your setup to look. Whether you want to put it on the legs like we have here, whether or not you want to wall mount it, if you have an outlet behind the set, there will be no visible wires. You don't have to have a game console cluttering things, a set top box cluttering things, a receiver cluttering things, anything that you want to plug in, you can put it away from the TV. And that gives you more flexibility for your room, generally leads to a better aesthetic. I think what LG is doing here with the M3 and their One Connect box is an absolute home run. And it was really awesome to see a product that seemed like it was never going to exist at CES sitting right here next to me, something you can buy. Uh, if you wanna learn more about the LG M3 or you wanna check out other uh, LG TVs or any LG products, all links you need will be down below.